Hi everyone, welcome to Boost Product Filter and Search Tutorial Video Series. In this video, you will learn how to create range sliders from Metafields, product options, or tags with custom range sliders feature in Product Filter and Search. Range Slider is a useful feature in UI UX design, which allows users select a single value between two range values. This pattern enables the adjustment of content within a predetermined range. Moving the slider along the track, increases or decreases the value. In our Boost Product Filter and Search app, you can easily create range sliders from price and variant price when creating a filter. Other than that, you can direct to our tool if you want to create custom range sliders from product options, tag values, or even product metafields. So it means that, for values that are numeral, like width, length, thickness, etc., you can always apply range slider design. To achieve this, we need to walk through two stages. One is to define the data type for the custom range slider you want to create from, and then create the custom range sliders filter option. Allow me to guide you step by step. First, from the dashboard, go to the filter menu, then select custom range slider. Next, click the add new button and choose from the product attributes drop-down list, which data to be used for creating a custom range slider. It could be product options, such as option color, option size, option material, etc., tag, or metafield. For example, if I choose the tag attribute, under option values, select all values to create a custom range sliders from all the available value, or manual to pick out only the values you want to show on the custom range slider. In my case, I'd go for manual, using a prefix to filter the tags I want to choose, which is height. Click Save. Let's move on to Stage 2. Navigate to the Filter Main menu, and select Manage Filter Trees. In the preferred filter tree, choose the custom range slider you created in Stage 1. In our example, we create a new filter tree, applying only to shoes and sandals collections. Then click Add Filter option. In the option type, choose the custom range slider one you've just created. Please note that without adding custom range sliders in Stage 1, the option type for custom range sliders will not be shown when you create filter option. Under the option label, name your custom range slider filter option. Here, we name it height. Then, customize your range slider to make it user-friendly. Slider range is the number of ranges separated on the slider. Slider step is to specify the size of each movement, or an increment between values. Delimiter is the character used as the thousand separator. In this example, we leave the delimiter empty, because our values are all smaller than 1000. Here is a quick note. The number shown in the preview are not exact and only serves display purposes. You can also give your slider some tweaks with the advanced settings. Finally, click save, and now you successfully create a custom range slider filter option. Thanks for your watching. Reach us at our email displayed on the screen if you need any further assistance. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels, or follow us on our social platforms for more updates.